Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Ramon, I'm a photographer and today we're going to take a look at the data color spider checker. One of the main reasons why you would like to have or use a spider checker or any other color grading passport is to make sure your white balance and your color grading is spot on and that the colors are true to life. Um, it's important for consumers, for example, when they buy products or fashion that they can really see the images and the colors that the items have. For example, if you buy a blue sweater, you don't want it to be green when it arrives on your doorstep. So for your clients, it's basically a must have if you're into product photography or any other consumer related items. The Data Color Spider Checker is a good tool if you want to color grade and white balance your images properly. There's a couple of features to it. There's a matte finish that makes it non-reflective, that's always handy. It has a pop-up screw, so you can use it to put any more accessories or attachments on top of it. And it has a screw hole in the bottom. And this makes it easier to place it on a light stand or on a boom pole if you have a product or some scene that you want to sample for the colors uh, on top of something or your subject is up high. It consists of 48 color graded squares. They are all aligned to the sRGB range. There's a small fade checker to see when your cards need to be replaced. You can pop this open and pull the cards out. It's fairly easy and it's a handy tool to have to make sure that your images are properly color balanced or white balanced. When using the spider checker, you also want to keep in mind that you keep pointing straight at the camera. It's the easiest and it will save you a lot of time if, uh, if instead, for example, you have it a little bit tilted or not properly aligned. So keep all the 48 squares pointing at the camera in your first shot or in your first uh, scene and then you should be fine. We're gonna dive into the software now. I'm gonna show you how we can use this data color spider checker with the Lightroom and the data color software to create a preset that you can then apply to all the images that you've created within the same lighting conditions. So it's very important to keep in mind that when you create a situation for a model or a product with a certain light, use this in the first image and when the lights change, you use it again. It will also uh, fix your light balance, light balance and your color balances, so, or you, saturation, luminance, etc. Okay, so we're at the computer now. We're gonna take a look at the software side of things and how you can get your presets for the color calibration. It's the spider checker. First we'll go to the data color website. When you go to the photography and design, you can go to support and there's a downloads section. You do get a disk with your spider checker, but as many PCs nowadays, I don't really use a CD or disk drive anymore. So, when you go to Capture Solutions, you can find the Spider Checker and the Spider Checker 24 software. And I'm on Windows. And here you can download the setup files for the corresponding software. I already have the software installed. So we're going to dive into Lightroom now. You, you can see two images I've taken. One, the first one with the spider checker and the second one just a normal portrait on which we are gonna apply the presets that we're gonna create. So you can see the difference that the calibration makes. Let's first go to the image with the spider checker. Um, I'm gonna crop it first so we only get the spider checker 
and use the dots to align it and then crop it to the proper size. It doesn't have to be really precise, but it makes it easier if it is. Okay, so now we have a full view of the color chart. We're gonna go to photo, edit in, and then the spider checker editing. And we're gonna edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. As you see now in the bottom left corner, it created a new copy of the image. Here you can see the small boxes that have to align with the grid of the spider checker. You can arrange them with the sliders on the sides and that they are perfectly matching with the boxes of the spider checker. I always try to get them as center as possible. So this should be fine. And as you can already see, there is some difference in the color and what it is and what it should be. You can also choose a specific mode. I'm gonna go to portrait here as we are working with a portrait image. Now to save calibration and then give it a name. It will say where it saved the preset. And this is a very important part, otherwise you won't be able to see the preset it created. You have to uh, relaunch Lightroom. So the software of data color closes itself and then we have to reload Lightroom. As Lightroom says, all the presets were converted. So as of now, we also on the left here have the preset we just created with the data color software available. So when we go to the image now, you can apply the preset right away. And these should be the proper colors, or at least as true to life as possible as we see it. So once again, this is without the preset, and this is with the preset. So as you can see, the out of camera image is a lot warmer, the colors are different, and this is how it should look. So you can do this over and over again, and just for every lighting setup, you create a new preset. And with that you always get a consistent uh, shoot and consistent colors. Also when you have the same clothing and the same things in different lightings or setups. So that's really important to keep in mind when doing product or fashion photography. And after the preset you can apply every edit you would normally do. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. Let me know in the comments if you also use a data color spider checker or any other color grading passport. And like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And I hope to see you in the next video.